So you get a rolling chassis here, which I've talked about before on my channel. All right guys, welcome back to Stranger Palooza. I'm Hank Strange. I'm actually in Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, and we're at Regency. We're here with Don right behind me. Hi everybody. Of Regency and of course Ethan. So Hi, you should you should remember these guys. We did a big video on the Regency Exalta, right? I think Correct. that was. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So now we're going to get that factory tour. So we're going to see how these guys put together all their really cool vans. We're going to do I think B+ plus and B, right? Correct. We'll do both the Exalta and the Ultra today. Okay, let's get all up into it right now. So you are our tour guide. I am the guide today, yes. Yes, go for it. So this is what we call our sand pit. And as you can see, it's where we first bring either a B plus chassis, which is a cutaway, or if you turn around behind, you'll see a B van. Yeah. What I want you to notice on the B van is notice how all the cladding bumpers and everything is stripped out. Right, so let's take a closer look at that. So you guys actually, you're painting first, it feels like. We call it a paint first philosophy. Okay. And it's a little bit different for a B van mm -hmm. than it is for a B plus, but we'll talk about both okay. of them. Okay, right. But what happens is this plastic has a texture. And when okay. you have a, a luxury vehicle, right, you mm -hmm. want the paint to look as luxurious as possible. Right. So we take all of these plastic parts off, sand them, mm -hmm. and hand paint them to match so that this metal finish matches the plastic finish perfectly. Right. Uh, we know some of our competition doesn't paint them at all. Some just yeah. spray them. Again. But we, you guys are doing this all here in-house. That's of cool. This. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Same way with the B plus. Yeah. Okay. We remove all the cladding, which we can show you up here on this one. Right. Additionally, on a B plus though, we sand the entire cap. Oh. Right. So. Okay. Uh, the entire cap area will get sanded. So you get a rolling chassis here, which I've talked about before on my channel. But so basically, Everything this. Off. Yeah. Nothing there, and then you've got the cap. Up front, right? And they'll begin the process of sanding all of it. You can see he's pulling parts off right there behind you. Okay. Oh, cool. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. All right. So sort cool. Of. So all of those those parts are coming off, and right. they all get the nice paint job. Here's the texture. You can see feel the texture on this. Mm -hmm. That's again, of course, what they sand off. Oh, okay. Additionally, we sand all of our fiberglass. Whether it's rear cap, side steps, molding pieces. So with all of our parts, right, a region C we want it all to look the same. Right? High end, custom paint, well done, and the sanding allows all that to happen. Okay, cool. Let me get a look at this. Nice. Okay. So for the B plus line, again our facility has a a line here and a line there. One's B pluses. One's so they're, B they're getting built side by side. Yeah, well, we Almost. call it station one, but with yeah. different tasks, different spots. But okay. this here is where we, you can see, we had all of our outriggers, mm -hmm. right? All the support to the B chassis. We also extended approximately two feet. Oh, okay. Right? Which takes a normal 23 foot chassis out to 25. Okay. A couple things we do, again, this is all custom made proprietary to Regency, right? Um, including all these pieces, but I want you, it's very important, it all bolts together. Yeah. Right? And that's one thing that Mercedes-Benz is very particular on, is making sure that you don't cut or screw into their main rails. Okay. So all of these parts are designed, and they bolt on, or sit on, and then bolt through on the other one. In, in very specific places. Correct. And that's so that the, uh, the owner can go to a Mercedes dealership, and Does it's it? still under warranty. Correct. Right. Okay. We also put on a 6,000 pound hitch. Oh, okay. And, and yeah, the GVWRs, uh, or what this thing can pull, is always a question we get a lot. Yeah. It really depends on what this unit weighs, mm -hmm. right? Because the, the chassis are at 15,900. These weigh 9 to 10,000, so whatever the difference is. Mm -hmm. But what else is important about this is you have 600 pounds of gear you can put on here. Right. So for oh, those okay. that want to put a scooter, storage, whatever it can be, a 6,000 pound hitch allows that to happen. 
All of our storage, or our, our storage bags as we call them, the tubs, are also, as you can see, mounted. And these are all specific by floor plan. Okay. Right? They're made out of steel. We rhino line the inside. Oh, nice. We seal them up so they're all weather sealed. Right. Uh, but they're steel, so they're very durable. Yeah. yeah. Right? You want to yeah. put gear in there. I can tell from your voice you've been doing a lot of talking, so That's just okay. to the folks out there. <laughs> I always talk, sound like this. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so lots of added storage. Now, you said that depends on the floor plan, right? That you get. Well, some storage. models maybe will have a slide out here. Okay. Right? Other models, the door maybe moves. So, but you always get saddlebags or underneath storage in every B plus that we do. Oh, okay. Very cool. Once this stage is done, mm -hmm. Now you got to build the box. Right. Oh. Okay, the floor. The floor is going in. Cool. Yeah. Right. And I want to go over here to our walls just for a second. This is where we stage them. Okay. So all of our walls are, are a laminate construction, which has been in the RV industry for a long time. Mm -hmm. That's nothing new. Okay. What's different about our walls, though, is they're about as well-built walls as you can get. And by that I mean there isn't any EGS backer, which is a steel basically plate people put in a laminated wall to hang stuff. Okay. Everything we hang from or route around has a full aluminum perimeter. Oh, okay. It has right? its own frame. It has its own, you can see even on our windows, full aluminum perimeter. Oh, or a okay. Right? Interesting. All of these things. I see it. Okay. Very cool. You can also see on our walls, I call them their kinked. Right. But yeah, that allows the aerodynamic shape, what makes a B plus, not a C. Uh, okay. Right. So, so it gives you a bit more aerodynamic design, mm -hmm. allows you to maximize your floor space the best you can. But all of our walls have a nice bend to it. It's both aesthetically appealing, and again, gives you a bit more storage and width. Okay. So it also gives it more of a design look, right? It's Correct. not just a box Correct. dropped on there. Cool. So once they get the floor set, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to move our way over to this where they build the. Typically they'll put walls and everything on here and then move it over to this station. And you can see this is where we put basically the box together. You cab, all your fiberglass trimmer pieces that blend the rest of the walls uh, into it. Again, that's even cool. these yeah, I could see that. Sanded, <laughs> sanded. You can feel this. Yeah. They're all sanded and again. Yeah, that's... Once this goes to paint, it'll all look the same. Yeah, that's cool, but I could see that kind of like uh I don't know what that's element to it. Yeah, yes. it's really cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean I could actually see that as we were walking in. I was like, oh wow. Yes. Yeah, i uh okay, awesome. So now that box goes on. So that's basically the floor, wall, wall, roof. Mm -hmm. Right? Look okay. Side if you want. Uh, awesome. Wow. <laughs> Very cool. So these don't have slide outs, I'm guessing. Uh, we have two models that have slide outs. Okay. Right, this one just doesn't at the moment. Doesn't. Okay. Very roomy though. Yeah. Very roomy. And even here I could see yeah. the design. I could, yeah, I could see that design. Well, That's we take the time to, to even angle your door. So it's right. it's everything yeah. has to be angled with it. Yeah, I could see that in the door as well. Yeah. That's really nice, man. All right, cool. Which way are we going? This gonna, way? Now we're going to go from the first three stations of the B-Van line. Okay. And then you guys can see here, there's actually a wall going on here. That's awesome. <laughs> cool. Lots of guys involved in that. So this is our paint shop, and, and it's almost as big as the production assembly area. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sweating a little hot here today. Right. Um, We're running and gunning right. here. Now, now, we talked about how everything's sanded. So the next yeah. step, as you can see here, everything's masked off. Oh, so this is ready. So this is ready to go into the booth, right? Uh, cool. So you can see how we take the time to even mask off inside every door. Right, but we're concerned about overspray. Yeah. But we don't want overspray, we don't want body lines, any of those things that goes into a uh -huh. sloppy run of the mill paint job. So the B plus, do you also get uh, paint options here or you guys have standard paints and patterns? If you look, you... either one of these are our standard paint. Okay. We can do any color you want, right? Okay. People uh, we ask for a deposit in case you don't like it, not right. Our, right? <laughs> exactly. um, but but we if you want this design, we can do we have done, we you know mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. A couple really, really cool options. 
But that's our best selling color, okay. silver. It's either that or there's a version of it where it's white. The yeah. dark gray is still there, but the rest yeah. of it's just white. I mean, honestly, I prefer like a, like this is a good, uh, to me, a cool paint job. And then if you need stuff, you could do uh, vinyl graphics and stuff like that on there. And, and it, so. I would say 90% of the B pluses we build are full body paint. Okay. Right, we do a few white whites with with a gray stripe, but the majority of our customers and dealers prefer a full body paint. Especially okay. that color too, yeah. silver, okay. sterling gray. Oh, okay. So oh, this one's going to be sterling. Okay. So how, you, how long does that take? Uh, it'll take a day to a little bit more to paint it. Once they get them all done, if we keep walking. Crank them into our booth. This one you can see oh. just came out. Okay. Oh, so this was in here, and then it just. Well, came no, out. it goes. This is the booth. Oh, it goes the in this one, the bigger one. Okay. Yeah. That's a okay. full state-of-the-art paint booth, right, with its own ventilation, heating, all the things it needs to mm -hmm. go through the processes. Because we added it, two coats of color, two coats of clear. Two coats of color, three coats of clear. Donnie, two coats of color, three coats of clear. Uh, I had the numbers close. Three coats of color. And two coats of clear in every van that we do. Okay, very cool. And of course, you can see they'll touch up, they mask, they bring it out after each one, make sure there isn't any flaws to it. We take a lot of pride in our paint. We don't think there's any paint at the top of part. Our paint at these smaller booths. Okay. Right? But the same color paint, they all match. They all match, right? Yes. Okay, very cool. And this again, because you take them all apart, doesn't leave any paint lines. Right. You pull a hood, you pull a fender. You're not going to see an edge where the paint stopped and they masked it out. Right. There are no paint lines on a region seat. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome that you guys do this all in-house here. Yes. Really cool. All, we use all PPG paints. They've been a very good partner to us. Um, do about any color you want. It's amazing the, mm -hmm. the different designs and different options we have for color. Oh. Uh, okay. Can I go in? Yeah. Let's take a look at this. And of course, computer that can type in colors here. Yeah. Okay, be bad. So this is an empty one. Not, not much has happened to this yet, other than we okay. pulled. They must have just pulled this in today. We're probably better off going to that one there. Okay. This is where flooring's done, okay. right? So they'll typically put all the flooring in plywood, run wiring if they have to, mm -hmm. get the insulate. Uh, we use both a, a, a foil foam. Right? Oh, I see. Okay, okay so see, what it... Oh. The foil reflective foam in every void. Oh, okay. And then we go ahead and put R19 inside of all those voids oh, as well. Okay. So you have a reflective element to our insulation package on these vans and both the residential insulation element on Oh, yeah, I see, even in the door. So you've got foil and... And what is this stuff? R19, Owens Corning, paint insulation. Okay, yeah. all right. Again, these things are, are metal, so it conducts more than, than your inch and a half walls will on this. Mm -hmm. So we try to insulate yeah. them at least the best you can. Absolutely. Especially in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very cool. So that's what's done in that station. Is, uh, and they'll put your backers in for various roof accessories, mm -hmm. uh, air conditioners, lights, mm -hmm. cabinets that we tie into. All get done up there with marine grade plywood. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's uh, interesting to note right there that you don't just have a frame, you actually have like plywood there, you know, where you're framing out. I'm guessing like ace is that like an AC and vent fan? You're gonna have an air conditioner, you have a vent, you're gonna have side cabinets, yeah. right? There's a variety mm -hmm. of things that you need to run through the roof. Yeah. Uh, that on the B plus it's all framed out. Here yeah. we gotta do it ourselves with plywood. Yeah, and this is one of the differences you guys will notice between you know what it costs to build a B plus, which is I'm, I'm assuming more expensive. You're the expert. Um, or, well, look at Ethan now; they're about the same. Okay. Right. So, so really, a B plus and a B are kind of the same for you guys, even though it's two different ways to build it. Correct. Yeah, depending on you have okay. your options too. With some of these, if you have a four by four option, you're gonna have a little bit more there compared to just having your normal oh, two wheel okay. drive. I see. Okay. I would think a B plus is probably a little more than a regular non four wheel drive. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But, but but then you four-wheel drive and load this up with options, then you get really close. Oh, okay. with four-wheel drive. Okay, so the options is really what makes the big difference there. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Cool. Oh, 
Excuse me, guys. We also yeah. add windows. Which, hold on, let them get that out of the Okay, so these you guys add in here. Well, typically we'll buy with factory windows what vans we can get, right? right. Then we want to make sure that all of our, our exalt is open so you get some nice fresh air across the way. Oh, lanes. right, okay. So that station over there, again, they'll add the windows to the vans as well. Oh, cool, yeah. That's always a good thing. So, yeah, that window is opening on this one over there. You have an opening window. Cool. All right. So, one thing about our four-wheel drives I want to point out here and if you feel this, mm -hmm. we sand this down, as we said before, oh. then we add a, a rhino liner, sort of clear yeah. protected. Four-wheel drive, people may take it somewhere other than a road. Like a brush so part. So we try to do, add durability to all your lower areas, yeah. right, even though they're painted to match, yeah. uh, so they'll hold up to any uh, abuse. You don't want to scratch it up. Correct. I see, like, battery boxes in there. Can I show that? That's what You can. We'll go through the spark system yeah. later, but... Okay, just there's... so you guys can see it there. That's They're preloading the, electrical. Yeah, that's electrical about to go in. This is up in the air. That's cool. So this is a hoist, so you can see they work on plumbing. They'll hang tanks, oh. right, and do, do the underneath. But we also then, between this station and that one, run our wire harness. Oh, okay. Right? I want to talk a little bit about wire harnesses. Come here, Ethan. So a typical RV wire harness, hold this. They'll run a main line, mm -hmm. right, maybe down one side of the van, mm -hmm. and then they run what's called drops. So they'll drop a line down to this appliance, and drop yeah. a line down to the radio, right? Yes. Okay? What we do is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We'll run three lines. And you'll have a dedicated line to the radio, okay. and a dedicated line to the refrigerator, and a dedicated line there. It's very automotive, okay. right? The reason we do that is, under the drop system that most people use, if one of these things fail, this whole harness on the side could go. It's awful to troubleshoot. You could lose multiple yeah. appliances out there. Yeah. We like the redundancy of an automotive system. So if only this wire fails, the rest of what's on here is okay. going to work. And so then all of those are grounded, right? Separately, or is it all? Is it one grounding inside? Just well, I don't know how they all ground into the power okay. center. Okay. I just know that we run a dedicated line to every to, to, to every, every major system. And everyone is tagged okay. at the end of it. Okay. And outside of tail lights, they're now all coming with factory plugs. Okay. Right, because one of the areas in RVs that we found is, as much as these guys try to do the best they can, they may mm -hmm. not get a great crimp. Yeah. Some of the fittings don't There's work. There's always going to be something. So we have a wire harness company right around the corner called Livewire, and they're awesome. Okay. Uh, and they put, come here and look at, okay, here's the plug for this appliance. Here's the right. plug for that component. So they now, on our new harnesses, will have factory plugs on every single one. Uh, um, we think it's it's a game changing harness. Okay. So much of these vans now are electrical, mm -hmm. right? So much between your lithium systems and most of it, I would say. Right. Yeah. So how the wires communicate is just as important as the system right. itself. Yeah. Because uh, if one of those aren't good enough, your system's not going to work. As it's yeah. And then to. knowing what you know what you're looking at, so you guys are tagging the ends. You're yeah, saying see of each one. Yeah, like this is your. There. Yes. So that way, if you're if someone's trying to right. work on it for whatever reason. They have a good idea of what's going on, or if you do an upgrade or something. Correct. Okay. And also make sure we wire it right here. Like I said, mm -hmm. if there is an issue, the technician at the dealership just has to go and find that wire they think's wrong. They'll see exactly where it is. Okay. What the problem is, either they diagnose the power box, or maybe there's something happened along the way. Okay. So each van has a very specific way it's wired, or is that harness, based on whoever's yes, working on it? Wire today? harness is specific per floor plan. Okay. I like that. Right. So, so some vans, if they have a slide out, you need a yeah. harness as a slide out yeah. uh, wire to it. Um, right. The B vans are a little bit more similar because our floor plans aren't dramatically different. Yeah. Um, but on the B pluses, they are. Okay. Okay. All right, there's, here's a B-plus up in the air. This is awesome, man. So people never get to see the underneath of a van. No. And it's crowded, right? It is, it is really crowded underneath here. You're going to have tanks and other accessories that go in a variety of spots. I mean, any, right. basically any hole you could fill, we try to fill it with something. Right. Yeah. Then you still got to run all your wiring. You can see we weather seal all of it. Okay. Right. And is this, uh, you're putting something under here also? This is just your weather barrier on your floor. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. It's a corrugated plastic weather barrier that keeps moisture from entering the van. Oh, okay. So you guys put that in? It's part of our floor. It's part, oh, it's right. part this of the This is laminated floor. to that floor. Okay. So that, that floor you saw on over there, yeah. this is glued to it, laminated okay. to it as well. And then well. this is exposed to the road, right? Correct. All of this, this is, is this is the barrier that protects it. Okay, cool. I always wonder, with all this, this wiring under here, 
if you're driving, especially if you go a little off road, you're always worried about something hooking or. Well, as you can see, he's looming it up, and we try to yeah. loom it in any spot you can to keep it up out of the way the best you can. Yeah, yeah so it doesn't grab on anything. Yes. Okay, very cool. This is this is awesome. We can look up over here too. Yeah. There's even less room yeah. for RV there. Okay. Now you'll notice on those tanks, they all got a spray on foam. Oh yeah, I did so notice that. So we put heating pads in all of our tanks. Okay. Right? That come on, I want to say at like 38 degrees, 30, right? 38. 30. Yeah, something like that. Sales could tell a bit more exact, but they're designed mm -hmm. to come on automatically. Okay. So if you're out there and it just gets cold, even if you're sleeping at night, those will come on, right? Mm -hmm. And at least and keep your tank up. warm. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah, let's go. Can we go to the other side so sure. I can get a better look at that? This looks like it's got more of a paint job on it here. Well, that's because you have full no glass, so it's got the... Yeah. It's got the uh, protocol protector. Is this what you were talking about? Yep. Very nice. <laughs> and that's a paint application, Correct. it's not a film. Correct. So that's more durable. Yes. So here you go. So you guys are applying this? Yep. Okay. We buy a tank, and then we spray it every time. So is this like a bed liner? What exactly oh, oh, no, is It's a durable all-weather spray foam, so it okay. insulates oh. the bottom of it. It also keeps the heating pad on the bottom of the tank. Very cool. Okay. Anything else that, we, that we're looking at here? This is a great color. And outside of them, just wiring and running plumbing. Yeah, okay. I'm noticing while we're down here, so is it just one line to dump and then you're selecting or? Well, some bands, because of size, will have a black tank only. Right. We have one big tank to put it in. Yeah. Some will have a gray and a black. Just depends on, again, the floor plan and what sort of environment they want or, or because there's just only so much room underneath. Yeah. Yeah. We're already putting 10 pounds of stuff in a five pound bag. Right. <laughs> and if you want big tanks, now you're putting 15 in a five pound bag. Right, exactly, exactly. Okay. Once they come off the rack, you'll be amazed how much wire is in one of these. If you can get under the door, take a look inside there and you can see just how much wire is in the van. Up here, right? Uh, all the way back, you can see there's yeah. dedicated wire drops everywhere. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's kind of like. Uh, branching off at different places here. Wow. It's a lot of wire on our bands. More than, I don't know if anybody doing a wire on this way. Yeah. But it's dramatically cut down on electrical issues. Oh yeah, here's something else we also put on. That's my man. How you doing? Secondary alternators. Okay. Right, so all of our bands is part of our spark lithium system. I don't think you get a full system, which we'll talk about in a minute. But you get the auxiliary alternator, 280 amp alternator, uh, which dramatically enhances the rechargeability of our systems. Yeah. Both the B van and the B plus, we put an alternator on every van before it leaves here. Yeah. So you could just basically start it up, and it'll it'll charge up those batteries faster. Yeah. Um, does we'll recharge in a matter of a couple hours. Okay. No. Okay. No. Right. Mercedes is not. Um, I don't believe today they are still allowing an auto start. I think it's right. emissions related, but. Oh, okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You, just, you know, I've heard some things about chassis auto starting back when some of our competitors did it. Some would start in a garage. Yeah, right? I think Mercedes I, is probably, because I mean, their system is really right. complicated. Right. If, if your batteries so. are going off, you gotta get them in the middle and start your chassis. At least you know you turned it on. Yeah, where is it? All that kind of stuff yeah. is uh, kind of important. I, I think I understand that. Yeah. yeah. Keep an eye on your battery. <laughs> Keep an eye on your battery. Yeah. So once a day, it's off the rack. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. We outfit the inside. Look at that. Cool. So, so what, a, uh, I think we, this is similar to... This is the to, Ranger. This is the one you would have saw in Tampa. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, what I'd like to, if we can show... You can see underneath okay, here, there's the Renogy. Renogy. Spark system. Right. So this is the uh, this is the management system right here. Correct. And then batteries. That is one of the smartest 3,000 watt inverters on the market today. Okay. Right. Again, 3,000 watts, pure sign inverter. It's got all those bells and whistles. What we like about it, it has up to a 9,000 watt boost. So hard pressure time, starting your air conditioner, starting your things where it needs a big bump. Right. This allows you to do that. Okay. But it's a full system, so you get 300, 300 amp hour batteries, mm -hmm. right? A 3,000 watt inverter, power management system. It's all connected through 
uh, Kicker, Kicker mm -hmm. Audio, you know, one of the best audio companies out right, there. Right, yeah. All of our components connecting the system together are all Kicker Audio parts. Okay. Again, you don't want to lose any juice, mm -hmm. for lack of a term, in your connections. Mm -hmm. You can tell we've really focused on connections. Right. Um, we know these people go out, they have limited resources, at least mm -hmm. to the recharge, so we're trying to make sure yeah. all of those go into it. Since we saw you at Tampa, mm -hmm. we've since added 12 volt refrigerators, okay. 12 volt air conditioners. Okay. So, so that air conditioner is 22,000 BTUs. Which one are you guys using? It's the the, the Premier Turbo Premier. Turbo Two Air, Turbo Air Two. Something like that. Yes. Okay. 22,000 BTUs, 12 volts. Mm -hmm. Right. Only has a 30 amp hour running time on average. Mm -hmm. So. With, with 300, you can run 10 hours, theoretically, mm -hmm. right, on one mm -hmm. charge. Now, mm -hmm. you're gonna have some refrigerator, none of that, but even if you get six, seven, or eight, that's yeah. awesome depends for a van on, like yeah, this. Yeah, it depends on your conditions. Yes. So let me ask you about the uh, the batteries or the amp hours. Can, uh, is that user upgradable or? Yes, you could tie, if you wanna buy more of them, you yeah. tie them right in, I think, series with them. Okay. Not parallel, but yeah. You can go to Renogy. And, and it has to be exactly Renogy, right? I know there's a lot of I would suggest it, right? Out there. Okay. We, we, we buy all Renogy components for one reason. Number mm -hmm. one, they work great. Okay. But but two, we know they're designed to work together. Right. You know, some people take a battery here and a converter there. Well, if there is an issue, we know it's a Renogy issue. They handle yeah. it. Right? Okay. So I would suggest if a customer wants to upgrade, right? Right. Um, go with Renogy components. Yeah, and from my understanding, Renogy is affordable. I've seen a lot of people doing the uh, Renogy upgrades to their to their batteries. Okay. But what we're trying to do is make sure you get as much out of the, the ones that you have here. Mm -hmm. Right? I know it's always easy to add 600, but if you're wasting amp hours, mm -hmm. right? I'm not sure. All you're doing now, it's like throwing people at a problem. Right. right. So that's why, again, we dug in on connections. I see. We dug in on appliances. Right. Right. So let's say you're running your air conditioner. It's got a five amp hour draw, your refrigerator. Yeah. It's got a five amp hour draw. That's it. Yeah. You're running your air conditioner. It's cycling half the time, so you're burning 30 amp hours. You can yeah. easily sleep with a couple lights of TV on for hours now. So you guys with think our that 300 amp hours is like the sweet spot? I know there's a competition. Think, like people want to, I know I want all the amp hours. Well, right. <laughs> But you're, you know, you're right. Is that necessarily helping you? You're adding weight. All you're doing is wasting more money and weight if you're okay. not managing the amp hours that you have. Okay. We've also mirrored it with a fuel base heater. Okay. From Truma, the Truma Combi D. Okay. So it's a two and a half gallon fuel based heater. So again, there isn't any LP on anything we build here anymore. Okay. Right. All of our, uh, you can see there's a, a cooktop there that's electric. Yeah. Everything we do is either going to be 110, predominantly 12 volt. Uh, mm -hmm and run on electricity. Let me ask you this while I have you here for a second. Sure. Right now there's a lot of problems with parts and stuff like that. You know, how's that affecting you guys? It's not great. It's been a struggle for a while. Mm -hmm. In particular, we're in Texas, we're not in Indiana. Okay. And the reason I say that is a lot of the vendors have warehouses, headquarters in Indiana where They're they can get up stuff. There, yeah. um, so we manage it through it the best we can. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say this, lately there's been a little relief. You know, it's uh, our vendors. I think are starting to catch up. Okay. Um, lead times are still out there. We mm -hmm. still have to do substitutes. You know, normally our yeah. our vans get Fiamma awnings. We've had to pivot to some Truma awning, or, or not Truma, but Tulis. Okay. So you, you just you have to be inventive. Yes. yes. <laughs> Keep and, moving. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we also aren't high volume. Mm -hmm. High volume means you need a lot. Yeah. And, and for us, you got 15 on the shelf. We take them. Okay. Right. I don't need 50. 15 works for us. Okay, cool. Good answer. This is one of our newer floor plans. What I want to talk to you guys about oh. is storage. Okay, yeah, this is a so this is a little bit different. One of the things we heard about at the shows mm -hmm. is B vans are great down, but there's no storage. Right. So we've now added shelves. Removable shelving in all of our showers. Okay. Right? Again. You can either use one of them, none of them, or all of them. Right. Right? But it allows you to really take this as a key you storage can, you can area. Stuff over here, so and then you when you want to yeah. use it, put it over here, you take the it out, move the stuff around, and put yeah. it back in. Absolutely. Yeah. You're not always using the bathroom, so. Uh, we have some customers that never use a bathroom. They'll really? either stop okay. somewhere or hotel, but you yeah. do want storage. Yeah, absolutely. No, I like that, man. Gives you more options. Three shelves here. And then yes. do you have a way to store them away easily or? Well, our suggestion they... is some people will get a drop down bed. That's an option here. Right. Right. You can set them up there or if you aren't going to use them, just throw them in your garage. Okay. Right. I mean, they're, they're really lightweight. Yeah. If you're only going to use you two see? or you're only going to use yeah. one. Oh, okay. Cool. So yeah. they're really lightweight. 
So in here you've got like a little puppy I noticed as yeah, well. Yes, so we're now putting area for people to put toothbrush, shampoo, whatever okay. else they need. Right. What's this down here? Oh, something to do It's going to be your toilet. Uh, there's a panel right yeah, here. Yeah, it's for oh. your, your toilet. Oh, that's, okay. Everything is, that the, is that to control the flush? It's control, it's a macerator. Ah, uh, okay. Everything we do is it has a macerator toilet on it. Oh, nice. You okay. don't have a lot of room underneath these vans. Yeah. Right, so if you can get smaller plumbing, smaller tubing. Ah. Uh, right, so you can do it from right there. Well, you can't dump from there, but it turns. No, but you could. You could. The flush allows you to. Yeah. Chew the poo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can't believe I just said that. <laughs> you said it. It's staying. <laughs> it's staying. <laughs> All right, very cool, man. I like how you guys have. So you've got uh, on, on this new one, you've got seating here, and it yep. looks like you can buckle up two people here, yes, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, like a jump seat type of thing here. Obviously, you've got driver, passenger jump seat and then got these two benches back here right Correct. and then these become a bed These become a bed and there's an okay. option on all of these rangers for a drop down bed as well right okay some That's people cool. like it as a couple coach some people maybe yeah. want the extra sleep in your store yeah, i like this layout i know that when we did that last video ethan there were some people like oh i've got the seats there yep. and, you yep. know, there's no room so for those folks they could do this option and there's tons of room tons of room it feels so much more and you open. can still seat people you can seat people, people can stand here, you don't have a chair in your way, yeah. you have all the room to step up in here now. Yeah. So if you're like me and Lola and you have two boys, yep. they could sleep on each one of those, yep. separate, and then you could get that option to put yeah, the bunk this is in. Yeah, going to have a drop bed, you can see the okay. water here. Yeah, yeah. You just okay. haven't put it in yet. Right. No, this is really nice, man. You guys always, like, you know, surprise me and impress me, so I'm happy. We got a good team. I'm going to introduce you yeah. to Ken Ellington. Okay. Uh, Kent's our, our leader of the of the team here mm -hmm. uh, on the production level. Uh, handles some of our tech assist. He's been well. He just celebrated his thirtieth year working for Regency. Oh wow! About a month ago. Okay. Uh, we call him the soul of Regency. Okay. And, and he he's a very <laughs> very very talented man. Awesome. And uh, so we'll introduce you guys and your uh, viewers, I guess, to him here in a few minutes. Absolutely. Okay. Very cool. We love, by the way, these adjustable tables. Mm -hmm. We'll typically put three brackets. Okay. Right in every yeah, van. Should be one. In the should be yeah. one up front, so that ah. wherever you want to go, yeah. you can have a table to set yeah. up on your stuff. And this feels more solid, like this, because the wings aren't open. But then you can, if you need more room, right. open it. Very nice. You think about it from um, here. I'm gonna have to steal some of these from you. Do you have any blemishes? <laughs> <laughs> any blems around here, man? Okay. I like that. <laughs> All right, and then did you still same sync? Oh, mm -hmm. You know, this is, I'll do a separate video to show you guys mm -hmm. something. What's all these buttons right here? That's just going to be your programmables for your radio. Oh, okay, it's right here. Programmable oh, cool. station is your audio yeah. visual. Yeah. yeah. 12 volt refrigerator here. Yeah. Nice. And since since Tampa, um, that's actually almost twice as big. Yeah, really, it seems say, taller. Yeah, well, yeah. we made the kitchen a little taller. We had some people say, look at Don, which TV refrigerator. Yeah. Well, and, yeah. and so I think we can pivot pretty quick. Yeah, and that's a debatable thing. I don't want a full fridge because I think it takes up room. But I, but that's it's like getting more volume out of it. Man, always good. I've been in this business 25 <laughs> years, and you come with this great invention for this. Right. And, and someone goes, like, no. Yeah, but I liked it better the other way. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's, it's, it's hard to make one size fit all. Is this a microwave or a convention? Not it's just a microwave. It's a microwave. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very cool. Let's. You know. And Ethan's going to run you through the floor plans afterwards. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so so you can do, do some detailed dive. Yeah, on. we'll do a whole separate video. Yeah. So that one, when it leaves the lab, uh -huh. rolls into its final stage here. Okay. And we're going to jump into one sub assembly shop here first. Okay. What's up, guys? So this is our soft goods shop. So mm -hmm. um, furniture we buy, mm -hmm. right? In particular, because in, in vans, it's got to be. Uh, FMVSS approved, right? Okay. Um, all of your walls, right? A variety of cushions we'll build here. Oh, okay. Right, even with diamond stitching. Oh, all okay. of it happens here in our soft goods shop. Okay. Is everything diamond stitching or is that an option? No, we're, we're pivoting away from diamond stitching, but okay. right now, diamond stitch is still the predominant yeah. design, I guess, that we're doing. Yeah. I still like it. <laughs> it has. It's been around a little bit. We're, we're yeah. contemplating some other designs. Doing like a different kind of stitching? Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. okay. But again, We've had some debate again. Right. One, one person Someone likes will one. Be mad. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Cool. So again, the van lands here. Right. Right. Uh, and here's what's exciting about this. This is a prototype. Oh. A brand new B plus floor plan. 
Oh, okay. You're cool. gonna be the so first. So no one's seen this yet. Yeah, Nobody has seen this, this yet. Oh. Right. Awesome. Sneak peek. So. Where is this debuting? Uh, at a dealer that's going out west, so a big dealer in California. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's going to be available to all of our dealers. We'll get this done. There's a few tweaks we want to do to it already, mm -hmm. but we at least show you the concept of it here on the okay, inside. Okay, cool. All right. Step up the way, yeah, if you could just give us two minutes. Sorry. Okay, wow. Got so this is a, 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 we call this the U Lounge. Or okay. U, the UL, right, Ethan? Yes. The UL. Right? Oh, UL. Right? Okay. And and we have a twin bed model. We really wanted something for couples that they could have a big bed to sleep, mm -hmm. right? So this can make it to a king bed in the back, mm -hmm. have a bigger kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the biggest kitchen we build right yeah. here. Maximize a little bit of storage by giving mm -hmm. them some more wardrobe space uh, at storage, but then also allow an area where if you're out and you have friends and you want to play cards, you want to hang out, you want to recreate, we're giving you a real lounge. So yeah. you can see behind you. Yeah, I'm you, glad Lola's not here because she can't see this and therefore, <laughs> Right. You know, until she sees this video. Typically that's our, awesome. our kitchens go to here. Yeah. That's a pretty good sized kitchen. Yeah. We've now ran the whole wall. This will have shelving. You can actually put pots and pans right. in an ultra brome, which is really kind of a challenge in any B plus I'm model. I'm telling today. you. <laughs> Huge countertop space. Yeah, Lola would love right. this. Over here we're gonna put some of our battery and components down there, which oh, we're gonna a beautiful wardrobe here. Mm -hmm. Uh you'll have more components up there, but uh, Very cool. to hang things. Where it gets kind of crazy cool. Is behind me. It's behind you. Okay, I'll go after you. So there's gonna be like a TV here. TV will be here, yes. And yeah. You'll still wow. get your pantry that we put this in. This is these. cool. Yeah. Slide outs will be here. Like like uh, like Don said, this is a prototype and it's still in process. Uh, in process. So a uh, bigger fridge, obviously. Well, that's the new 12 volt fridge too. Oh. And okay. all of our appliances, you get the 12, the 22,000 BTU ducted AC here, mm -hmm. 12 volt fridge. So your same. Lithium run times that we run on the B van mm -hmm. also hold true on a B plus. Ah. And what's great for us and our dealers, it's the same system for either one. Right. So it builds familiarity. Yeah. Easier builds greater to teach. quality, easier yeah. to teach, Someone easier to upgrade service. from a van to the Correct. from just a B to this. Correct. So nice big uh, shower going in here. And, and we're gonna add shelves with to a this. skylight. Remember the shelves we saw in the B plus in the uh, B van? Right. We're gonna design a shelf system for this that will, oh, okay. that, will that will pivot to all of our new vans. Okay. For 2023. Cool. Awesome, and then let me come back. So is this, what is this here? Your stool room. A what room? Stool room, toilet room. Oh, okay, yeah, that's Where right. That's totally, poo. so totally separate. Oh, cool. And then I'm guessing a fan or something here? Hmm. Okay. And yeah, there'll be some fan there. Fan We're gonna, right? So this will be wow. the U-shaped lounge back here with these beautiful design kitchens. You'll have a TV again on that wall. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have windows here. We couldn't get them in this prototype, but you're mm -hmm. gonna have a window, 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 window. window oh, right? cool, yeah. All through this area. Mm -hmm. A couple adjustable tables in here to use as mm -hmm. you need. Mm -hmm. It'll really be an area where you can just sit back here and enjoy yourself. So it doesn't have to be a bed all the time. You can make use it as like even an office or and something. There'll be like dedicated that. storage for uh -huh. your platform and your cushion up top there above your cab, that storage uh -huh. area behind you. This is really cool, man. I can't wait to see the finished uh, version of this. Obviously, I'll have to catch it at a show. Right. <laughs> and the last thing we're going to do is you see that skylight that's down there behind the driver? Up yeah, top? yeah. We're going to move that right here. Uh, so this room will just shine. Yeah, it'll just open up. Oh, awesome. Really cool. All right. This is amazing, man. Sweet. Okay, let's go out here. So this is the... Uh, let's let these guys get back to work so this can get done. Yeah, this is great. And you're really tall. And I noticed, you know, you were comfortable here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can stand here a little better. Yeah. This is, yeah, I love that. Awesome. One thing I like about these is the door, man. Yeah, it's a big door. Yeah, these have like nice solid doors, you know. This is Ken Ellington. We, I talked to you earlier about uh, the heart and soul of our company. Yep, is uh, this the guy? Kent runs the, all the operations here at Regency. Uh -huh. uh, and as I said, just celebrated 30 years. I think he's got a tattooed somewhere on here, don't you? <laughs> Superman. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> and he's actually been dealing a lot with people on our social media sites. Oh, cool. So uh, it's kind of exciting for you to put a face to a name. Yeah. A lot of people who follow Regency know Kent as a person, or as uh -huh. a name. Now they get to see who he is. There's the guy. Nice to meet you guys. Same here, man. Good to meet you.
If I can uh, do Absolutely. anything for you while you're here, let me know. So, uh, so, yeah. so typically on a warranty side, right, is where Kent gets involved. Because there isn't a part of these vans he doesn't know. Right. Uh, we ask everybody to still go through our normal warranty channels. But if there's a call, hey, for some reason this doesn't work and I don't know why, Kent's the voice they hear next going, hey, have you tried this and this and this? And troubleshoot and, and he really does a great job of making sure people get help. Thank you. 24 7. So whether if it's people Saturday really get or in trouble, they could bring it, come back here to the factory. They have. Okay. Yes. But, but most of what he's talking about happens on the weekend when they're camping. Oh, okay. And they, and they yeah. call me and we fix it just by simple troubleshooting. Yeah. That's the thing. So, okay. So there's always someone to talk to? Oh, yeah. You call me. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. Now, That's we still prefer people go through their dealers, right? Uh -huh. Still right. bought it from their dealers. They got to go through them. Yeah. That's still. What we That's the chain of command. That's Correct. Always the best way to go. Yeah. Um, okay. This is kind of a lifeline, though, on the weekend. When guys don't have anybody to call, you, right. can, you can always call me. Awesome. Thanks for that. I'm sure the folks Thank out you. there that have these appreciate that. Yeah. I know how it is to get into trouble. <laughs> it happens. So, uh, People it use happens them on the weekend. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Go. All right. This is our wood shop, and it's another area that we believe we separate ourselves a lot of the way RVs are built today, in particular vans in our segment. You guys are making everything here. We do, and I like to tell people, you know, most RVs have cabinetry. And take a sample overhead, right? You'll have an end panel, an end panel, they'll run a piece of style on the front, they'll hang a door, right? Secure it to the roof or the wall and call it a day. We build furniture, but it is, all sided, like something you would have at home. Yeah. Right? This could sit up and be its own element of furniture. We use all mat natural maple, right? All maple veneers. Everything is sanded, filled, stapled, screwed, as well as any custom home you can buy here at Dallas Fort Worth or wherever else our customers live. And we build everything that way, whether it's an overhead cabinet. It's a bed cabinet. You can see again how much real wood goes into every component. Even your cross members are solid maple. We also mill up all our own solid surface tops. Okay. Right, so all your countertops that, whether it be in the lab or in the kitchen, all get milled up here. Uh, for each and every van that we build. Wow. Yeah, you guys are doing it all here. Do every bit of it here. Yeah. Again, here's another overhead to do it. It's around, it's strong. And it's what's going to make a reach. See, when you get in one, it looks different. Yeah, and it feels it, different. It feels different. And a lot of it is a furniture because there's so much of it there. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to get flimsy. You're going to drive these things. We expect our customer to drive all over the place. Right. It needs to hold together. And yeah. this furniture is not going to fall apart. Okay, but go for it. It's kind of our off overflow room. It's not the prettiest. But once cabinetry is built, mm -hmm. it's pre-staged here. Then it enters the stain shop. Stain it, clear it, sand it, clear it again. So this is uh, what here? <laughs> this is our wash bay here. Okay. Hey, guys. Thanks. So again, once the van gets through production, mm -hmm. it goes into this bay here where they'll wash everything down, make sure it looks like it is. That's our head of QC over there. He then does a deep dive on the inside, looking for imperfections, right? Things that are wrong. He'll also t retest for the third time. We test everything twice in production. Mm -hmm. We fire stuff off a third time here, mm -hmm. make sure everything else operates possible before it leaves the facility. So this is all done except for the Rhino right. QC? Right. Okay. Uh, the last area is the warehouse. Again, it's big delivery day, so in the middle of, of storing and putting everything up. Yeah. But what we do, you can see the pallets here in the back. Mm -hmm. We pre-stage material. It's something okay. we picked up in this material storage area where you got to take this pallet, put everything for that van on it, make sure you have everything. Okay. Um, and that's the process has really helped us minimize some of the material issues that have happened over the last... Now, it doesn't make you get stuff sooner, but at least you know what you're missing. Right, exactly. Uh, uh, but we, this has been an ongoing project here with our warehouse to continue to develop more efficient systems uh, for storing material, getting material to the production area when it needs it, uh, and then keep it delivered on time for uh, production.
All right, so everything's here, and then you, you basically line that up with a van or group that up with the van. Everything comes into here, right, mm -hmm. from the trucks. And then again, down at the end, Paul there will go ahead and just start staging it for next mm -hmm. week's production. There's a pallet for that van, that yeah. van, that van, right? And they start pulling the parts for it. Okay. So then once they need them, he takes the, right, let's say plumbing needs their parts, he'll take the plumbing pallet down to them. Mm -hmm. So they have everything they need. It, it also helps us control, right? Mm -hmm. Before it was kind of a free for all, people coming and mm -hmm. going, it's not a good mm -hmm. way to run business. Yeah. Right? So now we control what they get, how they use it, what goes in, and it's worked a lot better for us. So let me ask you this, since we're here in the final stages, what options do people have? Like how much can someone customize their van? I'll let Ethan answer that and with the option sheets yeah. today. Yeah. Uh, you have some options, getting some different faces for your cabinets. Um, you have uh, upgradable some solar panels if you 200 want 200 or 400 watt. watt. You can get a, in the B plus, you can get a Bluetooth speaker in there that just, you can pop it off, take it around. There's options that dealers order every time. Sumo, Sumo Springs. Sumo Springs, mm -hmm. a surge you know, protector. Wine guard. Mm -hmm. Wine guard 2.0s. Yeah. Front seat recovers, that's what we do. Okay. Do we match the seat so that it matches the rest All of the, the leather throughout Yeah, the you'll coach. see that, I guess, when you go through the yep. vans. Yeah. Um, and rims and tires. Rims on, and tires. Not on the B-pluses. Those already just come with some chromes that look nice, but then mm -hmm. you have an option of chrome or black off-road or street tires for mm -hmm. the different Exaltas. Okay. So how many of the Bs do you guys make with the intention of someone being able to, you know, go somewhat off-road with them? Any 4x4 four four, four one, yeah, you can. Any 4x4, four four, yeah. we build them all the same. We put, okay. the, we put that uh, Duracoat down the bottom and help with the rock chips yeah. or scratches when you go okay. off-road. You have your, if you look over here at, mm -hmm. uh, you can't see him at the moment, but you can see there on that black uh, grayish mm -hmm. van there, mm -hmm. he's got the off-road tires with the off-road rims, so... Yeah. There's just your different options, okay. and that kind of would allow you to yeah. go off-road. We'll go down there and, and uh, get some of this before I wrap it up. So then on the B pluses, obviously, you know, you've got 4x4 in those as well, right? They don't no. build, They don't build a 4x4. Oh, they don't make a 4x4. No. Okay. Okay. They and, may uh, do all-wheel all -wheel drive in 23s. I haven't been able to confirm that on cab chassis okay. or not. So that but right now happen. Mercedes doesn't offer. Okay. You know. So and you do you guys, you don't build on Dodge anymore. Nope. Um, do you build on the Ford? We've, we've done some Fords when we can get them. Right. I think that's what we did a video. Yes, that's of. what we did a video. Okay. Of so when you can get them, you'll do some of those, yes. but you don't do those as B pluses. No. Well, we have done. Oh, you we've have. Done, we've done Ford chassis has been a, been a way bigger challenge for us. Okay. Than Mercedes. So maybe in the future, because I know, for example, there's some other you know all-wheel drive B plus chassis out there that folks have. So that's always an option of something that. I think Mercedes Benz. I think they'll put it on. Yeah. You know, I don't know if a lot of people know, though, the cab chassis aren't even made where the vans are. Okay. They're made in Germany. Yeah. And and the vans are made in South Carolina, of course. Yeah. So uh, yeah. maybe there'll be some more similarities if Mercedes gets closer to that. Yeah, when they're because they're switching over to all-wheel drive. and. Well, uh, and they're switching to a new engine. Yeah, you know, new engine is well. a four-cylinder, not a six. Yeah, yeah. So we've got some new things. All right, cool. Listen. I think that's uh, I think that's good. That's what I could think of. If you guys can think of more stuff, then just leave your questions and stuff like that in the comments, and I'll get these guys right. to come in and answer some of it. Hank, Thanks, I appreciate Don. you coming. Yeah. Thanks, Ethan. I appreciate it. Good to see you guys again. That was really cool. It was exciting for me to like see how these guys are building it. You know, that's why I do these factory tour videos, because it kind of reinforces to people like, oh, that's what I'm paying for. Those guys, you know, and you're all doing everything here in-house and, and putting every little final touch on, on your vans when they go out. So that's awesome. Well, thank you. We're, we're, we are vertically integrated, some by necessity, yeah. some by choice. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, on to the next one. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Hey, guys, I just want to take a quick break here to show you all these t-shirts that we're selling and uh here i'll go to lola's okay. right here all lola, right you be the supermodel for i'll this. try my best so let's see if folks know what that says van no -sor. that's what it is vanasaur like connoisseur there you go for anyone who's wondering these are if you want to support us this is a great way to support us we have these vanasaur t-shirts and you can actually buy them right here on the YouTube channel. Right. There's a like a little thing going there. What is that? Uh, it's a scroll on the bottom of each yeah. video, as well as if you go to the home page, there's a merch tab or merch store that you can click on. Yep. And you can get these cool shirts and support us. We're gonna do different designs. I think you have stickers and different things on right. the store right now. Currently, these are available on the sticker as stickers, on mugs, camp mugs, uh, water bottles. I think hats. 
Right, mm -hmm. absolutely. So that's a great way to support the two of us. So if you want to support us, go there and check that out. And then one of the cool things about it that, you know, if you notice, there's no Stranger Palooza anywhere on it so you don't have to advertise us but you can support us i think agreed and you this know? first design is actually the ford transit camper van yes so that is uh once again I'm that's what this one is <laughs> as the model so yeah that is a ford transit camper van which my, which is right there that's yep. ours that you see right behind us there and then actually uh we've got some friends over there so if you're a fan of the ford transit or just van life altogether this is a cool shirt that you can get it's kind of like a a conversation starter because people are going to want to know what does it say exactly <laughs> all right and we're going to do more of them okay so that's it thanks so much for listening